crackdown was swift, as once again Erdogan purged the government and military of alleged Gulen supporters. What we're saying is the consolidation of power that he had been engaged in now was on steroids, arresting more journalists, shutting down hundreds of media outlets, closing hundreds and hundreds of NGOs, detaining tens of thousands. It should never be forgotten that the failed coup in Turkey was aimed at the global democracy as well. Our nation taught a historical lesson to those intending to plot coup attempts everywhere and became a source of inspiration for all nations committed to the protection of democracy. He has delivered economic growth and lifted people out of poverty, which is why they like him. He also has a dark side. He has demonized and cracked down on demographics that are not likely to vote for him. You got half of the country that adores Erdogan, that's mostly conservative, that literally worships him. And you got another half of the country that hates him and thinks Turkey is hell, and there's nobody in the middle. In 2017, Erdogan held a constitutional referendum, turning Turkey from a parliamentary democracy to a presidential republic, transferring executive power to the president. He wants an executive presidency somewhat similar to the, the United States system. The problem is that the checks and balances that make a, a presidential system like that work and prevent it from turning a full authoritarian system are no longer in place. He got total control over the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary. So the three typically separate powers of the state basically became unified under the authority of the president. President Erdogan of Turkey said, you know, democracy's a bus, and when it, uh, when it gets to your stop, you get off. <laughs>